Hey bros and motherfuckers, what's going down? It's only back here today on uh, the server Age of Wyverns here on Ark Survival, and I wanted to show you guys what I have been working on for the past few days. That being my desert villa here in the desert, of course. So um, we've got my room over here. Now this is a pre-built, and also um, I just want to point out my amazing painting skills up here. Yes, if you guys need anything professionally painted in Ark. Hit up your boy. I got you. I can paint like a pro. Anyway, so, um, this is a pre-built structure, but it's only got, like, floors that you can't build on. So you have to put foundations if you want anything, um, to be down on, you know, that has to go on a foundation like most things are. Except for, like, bookshelves and chairs and tables and stuff. But anyway, so I want to show you guys the outside. Then I'll kind of give you a tour of the inside. So let's start with going out back here. And uh, this thing is close to the desert city, which is right over there in our server. It's the desert stronghold. Um, but this is a really cool looking villa. Now, I did pretty it up a little bit and did some building on it. But, so it's kind of like broken down at first. It does come with these walls. It's right next to this little bridge over here, which also has, I just want to point out, another somewhat pre-built foundation area with a little dock over here. Um, anyway, I haven't done anything with that yet, but I do plan to do something in the future. I don't know what. But, um, anyway, so let's get started. It's got this cropland. I really like the background to this because it's got this cropland that's like how crops would actually have been back in the day or something. So, uh, it's a runoff crop. So what they do is start the water from up top and the water just naturally flows down and kind of waters all the other crops. So I like the fact that it kind of looks like a little farmhouse, villa type thing. I did put a wind turbine just for good looks because it's in the desert and all. Um, now I really, I want to show you guys what this looks like beforehand, but unfortunately I didn't record what it looked like before. So for those of you who know what this looks like, hopefully you can get an idea of what I've done here. Um, you can kind of tell what's pre-done and what's not. Like all these walls and pillars and stuff like that. Uh, these big windows I did actually block off. Now, in my settings, I have it to where I can build inside of other structures. So um, that's why I can actually build, you know, inside of the walls and stuff like that to block stuff off. Because I don't want people just walking into my dang house through the window. So, um, yeah, let's take a tour of the outside and I'll take you on the inside. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got some target practice dummies back here. A little chill out kind of campsite where we can cook stuff wind turbine of course now this is kind of the back patio um, I did make this like little area I wanted it to be like a little campsite but the tents popped up missing so I've never really messed with a tent before so I don't know if tents are like time limited or if like a pariser came up and stomped on them or something but I'm gonna place them back down just to show you guys how I had them so it looks really cool with tents back here kind of looks like a little temporary uh, I don't know, like campsite for guests or something. So I wanted to put one here, and I kept it open. Also, I just noticed, yeah, something must have stomped it out, because I also had chairs in here. I had one chair in each uh, tent. So something must have came along and like stomped them and destroyed them or something, I'm guessing. Anyway, so the idea was to have a chair in each tent, and then have their own little campfire. So. If anybody needs to spend the night or kind of get their temperature down, they can come in here and chill out. Uh, eventually, I want to put crops around that crop land right there. But I'm having an issue in the server that I can't really figure out. So if anybody knows what the problem is, can you please share with me? So the issue I'm having is um, in each stronghold, one being the castle of the swamp and one being the desert city over here. Holy crap, this guy's trying to kill me. Let me kill this dude. Um, anyway, I have crops. I have a greenhouse in each stronghold for the community to use. Well, the problem I'm ha where do you go? What the heck? Oh. The problem I'm having with the crops, though, is that um, for some reason they're taking a whole lot of fertilizer. I hadn't messed. I kept the crop um, decay rate and the crop growth speed at defaults, but for some reason. It was using a lot of fertilizer, so it's still taking the same amount of time to grow. But I was literally like, it would run out. I would fill the crop plots with fertilizer, and then within uh, 
10 minutes it would be empty so it was using a lot a lot a lot of fertilizer so then I started messing with the crop growth speed and the crop decay so I put the crop decay to um, like 3,000 I put the growth speed to 3,000 so now the crops grow almost instantly but they don't um, like I don't know once they're done growing they just go back to regular uh, like yield defaults or whatever so it starts yielding so once it's I don't know it grows instantly and gives you like an instant like 200 berries or whatever but then it goes back down to normal and it's still using a shit ton of fertilizer so I thought maybe it would be the fuel consumption rate so I messed with the fuel consumption rate and nope it's still taking a ton of fertilizer so I can't figure it out somebody told me that it had something to do with the taming speed which I don't see how it's the taming speed but even then the taming speeds only set to three times default and uh, so that doesn't make sense if I were to put you know it would only be th 20 minutes longer if I were to have default taming speed so anyway I don't know what's making it take a lot of fertilizer but if you guys know what the heck's going on that would be awesome because crops are pretty much like really frustrating to mess with on the server because of that um, but anyway so this is the top of my villa I've got my generator parked up here and I've got a uh, forge here this is my fireplace sticking through the roof right here now with this um, generator I wanted to only power up a little bit of the house I didn't need the whole thing like covered so I ran some wires through the foundation you can kinda see them right here I think I split them and one went this way I think I might be able to find the uh, conductor thing or maybe it's under the war drums yeah there it is right there okay so that's powering up this corner of the house and then I split that wire to go this way and to power up this corner of the house that other corner doesn't really need power so I didn't run any wires over there uh, I'll show you the inside so what I did was put all the all of the stuff I need electricity for in this corner like my Kim bench my grill air conditioner and a few fridges so those stay powered um, I could I guess I could have moved the generator to inside so people don't mess with it so if you guys are trying to do the same thing I would recommend probably putting that generator inside um, it is PVE on this server we also have uh, a PVP aberration server in the same cluster that you can transfer to but even in PVE people can steal your gas out of your um, generator so I would recommend putting the generator down here and not even messing with running the wires everywhere uh, but one thing I, I ran it to this corner so I could put a light over here so if you were to put the generator inside over there you would probably see the wires running all the way to this corner unless it hides through this floor I don't know honestly you could put this whole thing you could foundation off this entire building but um, I didn't want it to I don't know I kinda wanted to give him more like detail and not put, not put foundation everywhere so I kinda just put the foundation in the corners and stuff like that I've got, so I've got my vaults over here I put some bookshelves down just for good looks kinda by the door cases also I've got a few trophies I've got the um, what is it, the Rockwell trophy I've got the Alpha Deathworm and the Alpha Wyvern if you guys wanna know how to spawn in any of the trophies or artifacts check out the channel because I'll show you guys all of those um, let's see what else I've got over here it's kinda empty over here so I think I'll probably put some more stuff over here I just don't know what yet all I have is a fabricator and a stupid war map so I don't know it's kinda empty over here it's kinda ugly but over here it kinda gets more homey um, it's my tables with the you know mortar and pestles my fireplace and I've got my room in here with my personal storage units uh, now nobody's in my tribe so this is basically you know my personal house all I do in the server is build um, and work on the strongholds and stuff like that for the other people that are playing if you guys want to know more about Age of Wyverns feel free to join search Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list on Xbox One or just watch some of my other videos I talk about it all the time um, I do hope to put together kind of like a collage uh, video for uh, the whole cluster so stuff that we do here and stuff that we do on aberration so that people can get an idea of like kind of I don't know what we're doing here I guess so uh, it's really cool I don't know I'm not gonna get in touch I mean I might explain a little bit later but 
it's kind of a lot to it. So anyway, I've got a dino pin over here now. Some of this was pre-built, like these stones here, but it was really messed up. A lot of it's like broken and stuff, and then there's like nothing here, and then it skips to more stone, like in this corner. So what I did was put down fence foundation. Um, let's see. I started at this the corner. I started at the corner of this stone here, and I worked my way. I put fence foundation all the way down to this stone, and then on top of it all the way to this stone, to that corner, to that corner, and just uh, put a couple behemoth gates there with some stone walls built up around it. So it'll be my dino pin. Now another thing though, this stone here had a uh, entrance in it, so I needed to block that off, so I put some wall here to kind of block it off, make it look cool. I guess I can get rid of this fence foundation. No, I can't. That'll get rid of the wall, I think. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, okay, so, yeah, this will be my dino pin. It's not very pretty, but it's kind of, I didn't really know what to do with this area right here. Um, also, you could take these walls and put them up higher so that the behemoth gates aren't sticking up all ugly like. Now uh, I want to touch on the, let's see, the f food room, I guess I'll call it the storage room for the dinos, I don't know, the trough room. Anyway, so I wanted to mess with tech troughs because I've never played with tech troughs before. Now these things are interestingly, interestingly awesome. Um, I want to explain kind of what it does. And I hit it all in here. I know it doesn't really look right because the dinos can't get to it, but technically they can still eat out of it as long as it's in like an 11 foundation radius. So let's see, I think this will stretch out all the way to like, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It'll cover about half the pin. So as long as I park the dinos over here or even set them on wondering, they're bound to eat out of it. I might end up putting another uh, trough room over in this corner so that they stay fed no matter what. But So a thing about these tech troughs, if you guys don't know, uh, obviously they have to be powered by tech generator, so I put the tech generator range all the way to the lowest setting so it just covers this room. And then I put two tech troughs. So one holds my meat, so I just spawned in a bunch of cooked prime meat, and then one holds my crops and berries and stuff like that. So, these things actually refrigerate, they act as a refrigerator, so they'll refrigerate the food so it spoils, like, way less. So I think that's freaking awesome, and it's got a huge inventory slot. You can stick a hundred stacks of whatever you want in each of these. So, uh, I think these are awesome. Definitely better than putting them in a regular trough and having it spoil all the time. Now, like I said, I haven't done much with this pin yet, so it's kind of basic. I'll probably fix it up later on. Um, so that's not really a final thing, but as far as the villa itself goes, I think I'm pretty much done with it. I can't really think of much else to do. If you guys have any ideas on what to do with this villa here, please let me know because, honestly, I don't know. I can't think of anything. Like, it's kind of bare up here. There's not really a whole lot going on up here, but... At the same time, I mean, that's kind of it's kind of cool to have it open and not so cramped, and it kind of fits everything you need on the inside. So, yeah, I don't know, dudes. Anyway, dudes, hopefully you got something out of this video, and uh, you like my stupid desert villa here. And if you guys want to see any admin command videos, I do show you guys. I cover that stuff all the time. I'm constantly working on admin command videos. If any new dinos come out, I'll be covering them. Any new items I try to cover. Old dinos, old items, whatever. So anyway, dudes, if you guys want to join the cluster here on Age of Wyverns, just search Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list on Xbox One. And you can join the crew. We've got a lot of stuff going on. It's really cool. Uh, we've got a PvE Ragnarok, which holds two community strongholds. One in the castle of the swamp and one at the desert stronghold. I mean, the desert city. And then... Uh, so, and then we've got a PvP uh, aberration. So, what people usually do is build up here on Ragnarok, tame dinos, do their thing until they're level 80. Because once you're level 80, you can choose to become a hero. And you can choose out of nine hero classes, which all have their own rewards. 
which is a certain level 300 dinos or a few different dinos or whatever. So you guys will have to read up on the classes. I'm not going to talk about them here. But so once people become a hero, they can also choose a god at the monastery in the desert. So once you choose uh, a god, each god, there's like 12, 14, I think there's 14 different gods, one for each shoulder mounted dino. And so whatever god you choose, you get a certain level 150 so, uh, shoulder mounted dino. So um, there's that. And then let's see what else is there here I think that's it for Ragn for Ragnarok you just the main thing here is to build up establish a home base and uh, become a hero and then what people like to do is level up to a hero status and then uh, transfer to the PvP map aberration where they can make use of the guardian stronghold there which is for heroes only and it has an undaunted uh, it has an undaunted tower where you can trade, well not trade, but you can claim ascendant gear rewards for your artifacts that you've collected between the two servers. So, <coughs> Anyway dudes, hopefully you got something out of this video like I said. Enjoy your desert villa and I will catch you guys on the flip flop.